We're feeling call from clients who've been listening to the media and they're really worried about the portfolio. They're actually doing really well. Most of them have either a small profit rolling 12 month or a small loss. But nonetheless, they're feeling like they need to do something. Listening to the news is giving them anxiety. I'm gonna give you two things that you can do right now at this very minute that will help you maintain control and get back in the driver's seat. Let's take a look. First of all, it's important to recognize how you're feeling now and why you're feeling that way. The human body is fine-tuned to react to something that it sees as danger. So even if your portfolio has only declined a little bit and you're actually doing okay, if you're sitting there and you're watching the news media and they're talking, oh my gosh, the world is going to end, your body is fine-tuned to react and say, there's a threat, I need to do something, I need to react. Here's an example. I remember, and I will never forget, for the, the rest of my career and the rest of my life, Susie Orman at the bottom of the market at the Great Financial Recession in 2008, 2009, talking about how people were going to be in bread lines, and it was the next great depression was upon us. And I remember feeling really mad at her. And I felt like she was being irresponsible because I knew that there were people out there, viewers such as maybe yourself, who were listening to her and taking her information to heart. It's important to remember that we see people in the news, they have all sorts of motivations for being on there. Maybe they're selling books, maybe they're trying to get views. I don't know what their motivation is, but it's important to take it with a grain of salt and look at your actual situation. Is your portfolio properly structured? Is it well diversified? If yes, the best thing to do is stay invested. What happened during Susie Orman when she was giving her interview on CNN, the market turned around, it was right near the bottom and we have like a decade of bull markets. So that is an excellent example of why taking things that you hear on the news with a grain of salt. Let's give you two things real quick on what you can do today to put you back in the driver's seat. Number one, the most important step that you can take at any time that you're feeling very emotional about your portfolio is absolutely nothing. You are taking the active decision to do nothing. Sometimes doing nothing is doing the biggest something that you can think of. It's really important to react from a point of logic and not from emotion. Number two, the biggest investment opportunity of your lifetime happens during moments like these right now when we're going through either a correction or a bear market. Nobody said that investing was easy. Volatility or the price investors pay for longer run returns. Remember, doing nothing is doing something. Give your wealth management professional a call. You can leverage our knowledge and our expertise, and we can bring perspective to information you're hearing on the news. I'm Anna Hilberry. Thank you so much for listening.